Hello friends, welcome to another video. This video is regarding colors, uh, conditional formatting and managing the colors. Uh, actually, there was a, a post on Power BI Community Forum which triggered me to do these uh, videos. This is going to be two part uh, video. Although the question which was asked was very, um, is going to solve in the first part of this video, but I try to extend it to, to, to the next level. So let's first look at the question and then we, I will talk about what we are going to do to solve it and what the part two is going to contain um, cover in, in the series. So here we have this question where the user said conditional formatting for individual columns. So the attention uh, we need to pay here is uh, regarding individual columns. So here he has some suppliers on X axis and then some uh, other column on uh, columns. Uh, in the matrix visual and then some values on maybe some. So when he the user applied a, a conditional formatting using the gradient color, uh, then what of course it highlights across all the matrix based on whatever the maximum value, minimum value, and then it calculates how it highlights. But what user is looking for, uh, I want to each individual columns to identify low and max values and then just highlight the low and max values in the column. So if in the column 110 uh, and it's a small screen here but like if it's in the first column whatever the minimum value that will be let's say red color whatever the highest value will be a green color similarly in 125 this column whatever the minimum value will be red and the whatever the highest value will be green so we just want to highlight two data points in each uh, column so let's i created a sample data set uh, just to uh, showcase how we will do it and then I'll, at the end of this video, I will explain what we're going to cover in video two. So let's get to Power BI. So here I created a simple table. Uh, what I did in this table, if we go to table two, so I have a year on uh, in one column categories and some values here. So pretty simple data set. I did put it in a matrix visual. So category on rows and um, the year on columns. And then I also have a value as a sum value. I think it should be some value. On, on values, which is just simple sum. Now, if I do a conditional formatting on this, for example, so if I go sum value, um, conditional formatting, background color, if I just keep, uh, keep it as it is gradient from lowest to uh, highest and go okay. So what it is going to do here is it's gonna highlight the high, uh, highest is 10. So that's a uh, blue, the darkest, and then then it is the next level and and so forth so on now the user question was in 2019 he wants to highlight value 10 as let's say green and uh, c1 which is a value 1 as a as a red color and similarly in 2020 0 will be red and 3 will be uh, green and so forth so on so what we need to do here is first we need to create a, a measure instead of using the conditional formatting we can create our own uh, measure to find out the minimum and the max value and then assign the color based on that so what we can say is uh, our own uh, let's say my color first let's high find out the minimum the maximum value so how we can do that so let's say minimum value so min x so we want to find the minimum value and then in table what we're going to do is all selected table two um, category and then some value. So what does this going to give us? Let's just double check. All right, so let's do this. And I will bring the uh, my color on, on the matrix visual here. So here you go. So what we have here is if I just uh, make it wider. So we have a, in 2019, the smallest value is one, as we can see across. So what we did is all selected. So we are saying everything selected, basically removing the filter on category and then get the sum value. And for each category, we get the sum value and find the minimum value out of that. In 2019, the minimum value is one, in 2020, minimum value is zero and so forth, so on. So similarly, uh, we will extend this, uh, measure my color and we will say okay i also want the maximum value so let's get the maximum value here as well and that will be instead of minimum value it will be max value and let's return this value this variable now 
So if we look into our um, uh, matrix visual here, oh sorry, max x. If we look into our uh, matrix visual now, okay, in 2019, the maximum value is 10. And uh, so this is we're getting for each row. Um, and similarly, um, three is the max for 2020. So we're getting it for each row. And this is what, what we want. So now it is very, very easy from here. What we can do here is we can, let's store the sum value in a variable as well. So that's just a simple sum value. And then here we can do simple thing. If uh, our sum value variable is equal to sum, okay, so what we actually, this is wrong. Uh, what I need to do is switch true. So if I'm going to say if sum value is equal to minimum value, then color is red or whatever color I want. If sum value is equal to maximum value, then the color is let's say green otherwise no color so i just want minimum and the maximum to be get highlighted so once i do this uh, as you can see already in the matrix visual we have a red c1 is a red because the minimum value in c4 is green in 2019 in here the green is c2 and the red is c4 and so forth so on so let's remove my color column from here we don't need that that was just for a demo purpose and now we can highlight some value, conditional formatting, background color, and instead of gradient here, we will use the field value, and then I will choose my color. Uh, the reason I, it's not letting me select that because it is treating it as uh, interesting. So my color, the type is text. Usually that is the issue. So let's go back conditional formatting background color field value my color oh interesting okay so here you go so now we have a each column in 2019 whatever the minimum is green red uh, whatever the maximum is green and so forth so on so this is working fine. So it's pretty simple, straightforward. You can highlight the data points, minimum and maximum. So uh, this is not a, a complicated process to do, but I think uh, because I wanted to do this two part series, I wanted to show this first the basic, how we can do that. So what I'm going to do in the next uh, video of this part two. So for example, we also want the gradient colors in this as well. So I want in 2019, I want my maximum color is uh, green and then lowest is red. But I also want, want to highlight the other colors, um, a gradient, other data points as well within that column. Or if we, if you, we go back to the gradient colors, uh, let's go to background color and not use our own, but use our own gradient. And we use some value because that's, uh, that's the measure we want to use to calculate the gradient uh, colors. So what it is happening is the 10 data point is highlighted as a darkest blue because that's the high, high, uh, highest number across the whole uh, matrix visual. And it's what we want is the gradient. Okay, you know, 10 is the highest in here and the one is the lowest, whatever the color is. And then also highlight within this uh, gradient color within this column. And then when we get to 2020, the three should be the darkest blue, like similar like 10, and the zero should be the, uh, the, the lightest one. And in 2022, the eight should be the darkest uh, blue and uh, one should be the lightest. Right now, we, we don't have any way to do that. So in video two, what we're going to do is we're going to create the gradient scale, the color scale uh, for our matrix visual. And then rather than using inbuilt gradient, we are going to create our own and then use that for color. It's gonna be a little bit of a, a DAX, uh, uh, involved in that but it's going to be fun uh, stuff to uh, to um, do so do subscribe my channel and um, then uh, that do watch for the uh, video too which will be really really interesting and uh, let me know what you guys think about this video and also the other videos i have posted thanks for watching i hope you you guys have a great weekend this is such sunday yeah, when i'm recording this and coming out on monday and um, until next video have a good day bye for now thank you Thanks for watching.